These are the commands, the laws, and the rules that the Lord your God told me to teach you. Obey these laws in the land that you are entering to live in. You and your descendants must respect the Lord your God as long as you live. You must obey all His laws and commands that I give you. If you do this, you will have a long life in that new land. Israelites, listen carefully and obey these laws. Then everything will be fine with you. You will have many children, and you will get the land filled with many good things, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised. Listen, people of Israel. The Lord is our God. The Lord is the only God. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Always remember these commands that I give you today. Be sure to teach them to your children. Talk about these commands when you sit in your house and when you walk on the road. Talk about them when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them on your hands and wear them on your foreheads to help you remember my teachings. Write them on the doorpost of your houses and on your gates. The Lord your God made a promise to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He promised to give you this land, and He will give it to you. He will give you great and rich cities that you did not build. He will give you houses full of good things that you did not put there. He will give you wells that you did not dig. He will give you vineyards and olive trees that you did not plant, and you will have plenty to eat. But be careful. Don't forget the Lord. You were slaves in Egypt, but He brought you out of the land of Egypt. Respect the Lord your God and serve only Him. You must use only His name to make promises. You must not follow other gods. You must not follow the gods of the people who live around you. The Lord your God is always with you, and He hates for His people to worship other gods. So if you follow those other gods, the Lord will become very angry with you. He will destroy you from the face of the earth. You must not test the Lord your God like you tested Him at Massa. You must be sure to obey the commands of the Lord your God. You must follow all the teachings and laws He has given you. You must do what is right and good, what pleases the Lord. Then everything will go well for you, and you can go in and take the good land that the Lord promised your ancestors. And you will force out all your enemies just as the Lord said. In the future, your children might ask you, The Lord our God gave you teachings, laws, and rules. What do they mean? Then you will say to them, We were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out of Egypt with his great power. The Lord did great and amazing things. We saw him do these things to the Egyptian people, to Pharaoh, and to the people in Pharaoh's house. He brought us out of Egypt so that he could give us the land that he promised our ancestors. The Lord commanded us to follow all these teachings. We must respect the Lord our God. Then he will always keep us alive and doing well, as we are today. If we carefully obey the whole law, exactly as the Lord our God told us to, He will say that we have done a very good thing. The Lord your God will lead you into the land that you are entering to take for your own. He will force out many nations for you, the Hittites, Girgashites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, seven nations greater and more powerful than you. The Lord your God will put these nations under your power, and you will defeat them. You must destroy them completely. Don't make an agreement with them or show them mercy. Don't marry any of them and don't let your sons or daughters marry any of the people from these other nations. If you do, they will turn your children away from following me. Then your children will serve other gods and the Lord will be very angry with you. He will quickly destroy you. This is what you must do to these nations. You must smash their altars and break their memorial stones into pieces. Cut down their Asherah poles and burn their statues. Do this because you are the Lord's own people. From all the people on earth, the Lord your God chose you to be a special people, people who belong only to Him. Why did the Lord love and choose you? It was not because you were such a large nation. You had the fewest of all people. But the Lord brought you out of Egypt with great power and made you free from slavery. He freed you from the control of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. The Lord did this because He loves you and He wanted to keep the promise He made to your ancestors. So remember that the Lord your God is the only God, and you can trust Him. He keeps His agreement. He shows His love and kindness to all people who love Him and obey His commands. He continues to show His love and kindness through a thousand generations, but the Lord punishes people who hate Him. He will destroy them. He will not be slow to punish those who hate Him. 
so you must be careful to obey the commands, laws, and rules that I give you today. If you listen to these laws, and if you are careful to obey them, the Lord your God will keep His agreement of love with you. He promised this to your ancestors. He will love you and bless you. He will make your nation grow. He will bless your children. He will bless your fields with good crops and will give you grain, new wine, and oil. He will bless your cows with calves and your sheep with lambs. You will have all these blessings in the land that He promised your ancestors to give you. You will be blessed more than all people. Every husband and wife will be able to have children. Your cows will be able to have calves. The Lord will take away all sickness from you and He will not let you catch any of the terrible diseases that you had in Egypt. But He will make your enemies catch those diseases. You must destroy all the people the Lord your God helps you defeat. Don't feel sorry for them and don't worship their gods. They will trap you. They will ruin your life. Don't say in your heart, these nations are stronger than we are. How can we force them out? You must not be afraid of them. You must remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and all the people of Egypt. You saw the great troubles he gave them and the amazing things he did. You saw the Lord use his great power and strength to bring you out of Egypt. The Lord your God will use that same power against all the people you fear. The Lord your God will send the hornet against them. He will do this until he destroys all the people who escaped and tried to hide. Don't be afraid of them, because the Lord your God is with you. He is a great and awesome God. The Lord your God will force those nations to leave your country little by little. You will not destroy them all at once. If you did, the wild animals would grow to be too many for you. But the Lord your God will let you defeat those nations. He will confuse them in battle until they are destroyed. He will help you defeat their kings. You will kill them, and the world will forget they ever lived. No one will be able to stop you. You will destroy them all. You must throw the statues of their gods into the fire and burn them. You must not want to keep the silver or the gold that is on those statues for yourselves. It will be like a trap to you. It will ruin your life. The Lord your God hates those idols. You must not bring any of those disgusting idols into your homes, or you will be destroyed just as they will be. You must treat them as the disgusting things they are. They are to be destroyed. You must obey all the commands that I give you today, because then you will live and grow to become a great nation. You will get the land that the Lord promised to your ancestors. And you must remember the entire trip that the Lord your God has led you through these 40 years in the desert. He was testing you. He wanted to make you humble. He wanted to know what is in your heart. He wanted to know if you would obey His commands. He humbled you and let you be hungry. Then He fed you with manna, something you did not know about before. It was something your ancestors had never seen. Why did the Lord do this? Because He wanted you to know that it is not just bread that keeps people alive. People's lives depend on what the Lord says. These past 40 years, your clothes did not wear out and your feet did not swell. You must remember that the Lord your God teaches and corrects you as a father teaches and corrects his son. You must obey the commands of the Lord your God. Follow Him and respect Him. The Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with rivers and pools of water. Water flows out of the ground in the valleys and the hills. It is a land with wheat and barley, grapevines, fig trees, and pomegranates. It is a land with olive oil and honey. There you will have plenty of food and everything you need. It is a land where the rocks are iron. You can dig copper out of the hills. You will have all you want to eat. Then you will praise the Lord your God for the good land He has given you. Be careful. Don't forget the Lord your God. Be careful to obey the commands, laws, and rules that I give you today. Then you will have plenty to eat, and you will build good houses and live in them. Your cattle, sheep, and goats will grow large. You will get plenty of gold and silver. You will have plenty of everything. When that happens, you must be careful not to become proud. You must not forget the Lord your God. You were slaves in Egypt, but He made you free and brought you out of that land. He led you through that great and terrible desert where there were poisonous snakes and scorpions. The ground was dry, and there was no water anywhere, but He gave you water out of a solid rock. In the desert He fed you manna, something your ancestors had never seen. He tested you to make you humble so that everything would go well for you in the end. Don't ever say to yourself, I got all this wealth by my own power and ability. Remember the Lord your God is the one who gives you power to do these things. He does this because He wants to keep the agreement that He made with your ancestors as He is doing today. Don't ever forget the Lord your God. 
Don't ever follow other gods or worship and serve them. If you do that, I warn you today, you will surely be destroyed. The Lord is destroying other nations for you. But if you stop listening to the Lord your God, you will be destroyed just like them. Listen, you Israelites. You will go across the Jordan River today. You will go into that land to force out nations greater and stronger than you. Their cities are big and have walls as high as the sky. The people there are tall and strong. They are the Anakites. You know about them. You heard our own spies say no one can win against the Anakites. But you can be sure that it is the Lord your God who goes across the river before you. And God is like a fire that destroys. He will destroy those nations and make them fall before you. You will force those nations out and quickly destroy them. The Lord has promised you that this will happen. The Lord your God will force those nations out for you. But don't say to yourselves, the Lord brought us to live in this land because we are such good people. No, the Lord forced those nations out because they were evil, not because you were good. You're going in to take their land, but not because you are good and live right. You are going in, and the Lord your God is forcing those people out because of the evil way they live. And the Lord wants to keep the promise He made your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Lord your God is giving you that good land to live in, but you should know that it is not because you are good. The truth is that you are very stubborn people. Remember how you made the Lord your God angry in the desert? Never forget that. From the day you left the land of Egypt to the day you came to this place, you have refused to obey the Lord. You made the Lord angry at Mount Horeb. The Lord was angry enough to destroy you. I went up on the mountain to get the stone tablets. The agreement that the Lord made with you was written on these stones. I stayed on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights. I did not eat any food or drink any water. The Lord gave me the two stone tablets. He wrote his commands on the stones with his finger. The Lord wrote everything he said to you from the fire when you were gathered together at the mountain. So at the end of the 40 days and 40 nights, the Lord gave me two stone tablets, the stones of the agreement. Then the Lord said to me, Get up and quickly go down from here. The people you brought out of Egypt have ruined themselves. They stopped obeying my commands so quickly. They melted gold and made an idol for themselves. The Lord also said to me, I have watched these people. They are very stubborn. Let me destroy these people completely, so no one will even remember their names. Then I will make another nation from you that is stronger and greater than these people. Then I turned and came down from the mountain. The mountain was burning with fire, and the two stone tablets of the agreement were in my hands. I looked and I saw you had sinned against the Lord your God. I saw the calf you made from melted gold. You stopped obeying the Lord so quickly. So I took the two stone tablets and threw them down. There before your eyes I broke the stones into pieces. Then I bowed down before the Lord with my face to the ground for forty days and forty nights, as I did before. I did not eat any food or drink any water. I did this because you had sinned so badly. You did the thing that is evil to the Lord, and you made him angry. I was afraid of the Lord's terrible anger. He was angry enough to destroy you, but the Lord listened to me again. The Lord was very angry with Aaron, enough to destroy him. So I also prayed for Aaron at that time. I took that terrible thing, the calf you made, and burned it in the fire. I broke it into small pieces, and I crushed the pieces until they were dust. Then I threw the dust into the river that came down from the mountain. Also, at Tabera, Massa, and Kibroth Hatava, you made the Lord angry. You did not obey when the Lord told you to leave Kadesh Barnea. He said, Go up and take the land I am giving you. But you refused to obey the Lord your God. You did not trust Him. You did not listen to His command. All the time that I have known you, you have refused to obey the Lord. So I bowed down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, because the Lord said He would destroy you. I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord God, don't destroy your people. They belong to you. You freed them and brought them out of Egypt with your great power and strength. Remember your promise to your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Forget how stubborn these people are. Don't look at their evil ways or their sins. If you punish your people, the Egyptians might say, The Lord was not able to take his people into the land he promised them. And he hated them. So he took them into the desert to kill them. But they are your people, Lord. They belong to you. You brought them out of Egypt with your great power and strength.